Hi everyone, I'm Jen Allen. Thanks for joining me today with Fitness with Jen Allen. Today I'm celebrating my 150th class on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't done other classes, go check them all out. I would love to have you um, comment and let me know what you like. I know a lot of you like the small ball classes. Those are some of the most popular on the channel. Just remember to go to playlists. There are already 12 small ball classes on the playlist, but I have a brand new one. Um, for you today. This is a little more advanced class, just so you know. Everything you can do, you can modify as you need to. Smaller ranges of motions, different angles on your legs, but it is a pretty advanced class. You'll need a mat, some floor space, and a small ball. And let's get started. Today we're going to start in parallel position. Toes facing forward, ball in the hands, down at your legs. Open up the space between the ear and the shoulder. Straighten your legs so you feel your quadriceps, that muscle even right above the knee and even up into your glutes and your hamstrings right in the back side. As you pull your belly in, that should tighten everything up like you're wearing a corset in your center. And that's a big power part of your Pilates training. Keeping your legs straight, arms down, shoulders down. Just lift the ball up over your head, feel that stretch and pull it back down without bending your knees, lift and lower. And start your breathing process. Again, you're focusing on controlling every move you do, concentrating on it, using your center to get power and strength. Move smoothly today and then pay attention to every detail. On the next one, take it up and over to the side and then don't forget to breathe. Bring it back forward and up again and over to the other side and bring it up and forward. Lift up and over to your side. Lift and forward and up and over to your other side. Let's do that one more time on each side. Really making the move big, coming from the center to the side edges one more time. Lift, up and over, come back to center and hold. Bring that ball up into the chest and bring your right toe to the floor. Just feeling that balance starting to engage the center. Now raise the ball over your head. Now bring that knee to the ball, nice and slow, and just touch down. Pull, and just touch down. Now really reach up all the way to the top, and again. And one more time, lead the knee up. Now bring the ball to your chest, and take the leg and swing it backwards and forward. Notice the detail, I'm not bending my left knee, I'm not moving the ball or my torso, just the leg for now. Now I'm gonna add the ball coming to my left shoulder and to my right one. When the ball goes back, it's to the left and to the right, really focusing on the balance and how just even moving that ball changes that move. On the next backwards motion, you bend into your left knee. So it gets a little deeper, more challenging, come back up. Now don't forget about the ball. So you're layering a lot of movement on top of that stable leg. Shoulder to shoulder, swing the leg, shoulder to shoulder, and bring the leg forward, hold. Put the ball in your right hand, left hand at your side. Move the ball forward and the leg backwards into a slow tabletop and then pull it back into the shoulder and the knee up. Find the control, don't rush the move. Putting that weight bearing work to the left leg, such great work for bone density. And pull it in. And on the next one, lead the leg back behind you. Focus just on the back leg as you lower and lift it. Once you have the movement, really reach the front arm forward and feel that weight forward on the torso. One more, and leave the leg up on the next one. Now just the arm that has the ball out to the side of you, and back to the front of you, out to the side of you, and to the front. Two more, open. Ooh, feel that work going on in that left leg. One more, and as you bring it in, release the standing leg. Bring the ball into the chest, the left toe to the floor. Engaging the center, ball overhead. Pull the ball to the knee, nice and slow. Again, that foot against the floor. The reason we wear bare feet in Pilates and yoga is it has a lot of proprioceptors under the foot that send messages to the brain. The message is it's gonna to have to balance. Now as you bring it up, hold. Bring the ball more to the chest. 
and swing just the leg backwards and forward as we layer the sequence. This is a great place to start the breathing, the focus. On the next leg back, bring the ball to the right shoulder and then to the left one. And across and across. You feel how that changes the move just by moving the ball with the leg. Now it's going to get a little more advanced as you now drop into the right leg a little lower, deeper, coming back up and across, and lower and deeper, and come across. Two more. Come up. One more time. Good. Come up and place the ball in the left hand with the right hand at the leg, the left knee up. Reaching forward with the ball, slowly back with the leg. Pull everything back in and up. And control as you reach forward and extend the leg back. And pull it. Two more. And pull it. And one more time as you extend, leave the ball forward and the leg back, focusing on lowering and lifting the back toe and the balance in the right foot, and the reaching forward with the ball, and the breathing, and one more, leaving the leg up. Now take just the ball, open to the side, and back to the front, keep extending the back leg, keep the focus. You have two more. Open it, close it, and finish with one more open, and one more close, bringing that back knee in, and releasing the standing leg. Focusing into the adductors or inner thighs, place the ball now in between the two thighs, changing the shape of the ball. So you squeeze it close together, and really not only affecting the adductors, but up through the pelvic floor, up through the abdominals, and back into the hamstrings and glutes. As you open up that space, bring the arms above your head, and then open your elbows as you sit back into your hips, squats, pull up, the body does six main things. Pushes and pulls with muscles. Pull, push, it squats, it hinges, it lunges, and it rotates or twists. On this next squat, after this one, pull down into your squat, pull. Now hinge the body forward and open. So squat, hinge. Shift its body weight backwards and forwards. And one more, bringing it forward. Squeeze the adductors against the ball. Now reach the hands forward and pull back. And feel your shoulder blades and extend the hips back and reach those fingers forward and pull back and again. Now open up the chest and now focus into the adductors and squeeze in. Squeeze in, find the adductors, the tummy, the back, the legs, and the upper back. Good, one more. Now hinge forward, reach forward, stand all the way up and squeeze the ball with straight legs. Pull down with the elbows, hinge forward with the body, reach forward, squeeze the ball as you activate up. Elbows down, forward, extend, lift and stretch. One more, and again, pay attention to the details. When you stand up, straighten your legs and squeeze. Now stay here, straight legs, elbows down, heels up. Pull the elbows down, pull the heels up. Pull. Good, two more. Pull. Push against the ball. Good, and on the next one, come down into that squat. Reach the right arm forward, the left arm back, and really extend from one finger to the next, squeeze the ball. Drop and swing the arms, reach. Don't be so quick to move. Drop, reach. Feel the details of the fingers reaching from one end to the other. One more on each side. And as you finish, bring the back hand forward, reaching both forward hips back, chin up, and take the right arm down and around in a circle. Noticing as you squeeze the ball to stabilize the legs and pelvis, you're gonna feel muscles on that side of the back. Follow with your eyes and your torso, up and around like you're swimming. Down, around, 
Keep the other arm forward. Keep squeezing the ball. Now take the arm in the opposite direction, up and around. Follow with your eyes and torso. Work the muscles on that side of the body. Two more, up and over. One more. Now as you focus to the left arm, drop it around without looking at it in a circle. Get back into your hips and legs. Focus on other arm forward. And now start following the moving arm with your focus and your torso. It's like swimming the front stroke. All the muscles on that side of the body. Now reverse it and go up and open. Look at it, up and open. Again, up and open. And one more. Now reach forward, open the chest, squeeze in and lift and lower your heels. Lift and lower the heels. Good, focus on your upper back. And one more. As you stand up, lift up. Take the ball from your legs. Open into a wider position and bend into your knees. Sit the hips back. Take the ball. Now, right shoulder, left shoulder. Right, that's all we do, move the ball. And feel as the body changes from side to side, the legs don't, but they will. As you go to the right shoulder, left leg crosses back, left shoulder, squat. Remember, this is really low, deep work. Not rushed, not quick, deep and slow. On the next cross, hold and take the ball down by your legs. Right hand around and lower. Legs stay bent, eyes follow the ball. Torso lifts. Now, we're gonna to start to add a little more leg as you straighten your legs on the up and bend on the down. Straighten on the up, bend on the down. Okay, as it goes around the side, left toe touches and it goes up, around, curtsy back. High on the up, low. You want to be in so much control of that standing leg that in a second, that left foot's going to kick on this next one. Focus on the standing leg as you kick the moving leg. Kick. It's all about the standing leg. One more. Go back to the squat. Reposition the ball. Low. Shoulder to shoulder. Left, right, get down into your base of support. Let it come from that center power. Get as low as you can. On the next left shoulder, cross the right leg. Go back to the right shoulder with the squat. Never comes to the center. It's either shoulder or other shoulder. Two more. And on the next one, cross and hold. Deep in the legs, ball down. Left hand around to the right one, up, circle down. Not moving the legs yet, not yet. Eyes, torso, arms. Just that little movement on top of the legs that are holding can also be a very big challenge, especially if you're low. Now start to straighten your legs on the up, and they get really low on the down. Up, so you're integrating and engaging. Lots of different muscles. Sometimes they're engaging while holding and sometimes by moving. Now toe to the side, on the up, toe down. Again, don't rush. Don't fling the move. Don't use momentum. It's not about how many we can fit into that second. It's about how well we do them, make each one count. Now kick. Focus on the stand, stable leg, which gives you the stability to kick the other one. Two more. One more. That again takes concentration center and release. Good. From here, bring your feet to parallel and bring your right leg behind you in a lunge position. Once you're in the lunge position, static lunge, put the weight right between the two legs. With the 
front leg be left, put the ball in the right hand. Drop down and under, and then up and around to the chest. Transfer the ball to the hand, and move the chest. Get low into those legs, make them work for you. One more. The only change on the next one is to bring the ball all the way over your head, so it's big. You look forward, you look up. Integrating as much as you can on top of the stable legs, which is the whole point of Pilates. Stable and then motion. One more. As you bring it up, bring it now to your chest. Turn your body towards the left hip and open the ball with the ball in the right hand, that front hand, right? Bring it in and then open it the other way. It's actually the same way, different hand. Pull it across and open. Then deep down in those legs. One more time, front hand, then back one, then center. Now it's gonna get very intense. This ball is gonna go under that back knee. As you slide your back foot in just a little, drop the ball down. Now you don't wanna put your weight on it, you wanna use it almost like a marker. Like if that ball were to pull out from underneath you, you'd still be able to hold this. If you push down too hard, the ball might slip. So you just wanna barely put your weight on it. Then bring your arms up and go just a little lower and a little higher. Now don't panic. I'm going to do four repetitions of every move and then the weight's gonna change a little bit and help you out. Now from here, find your place and reach forward. Take your back leg carefully up and off. And then back knee marks the ball and the arms go up. Weight forward on the front leg, back leg comes off the ball, straightens, and knee down, reach up. Do that again, reach forward. Adding on, open the arms to the rotation twist. Come back up, reach forward, knee off, reach. Knee down, open the twist. I'm gonna make another change. Arms swing all the way back by the hips, all the way up to the top, knee down, open the twist. Swing all the way back and forward, all the way up and open the twist. Changes again. Hang in there. Swing back, hold. Look at that front foot, put your hands down. Take the leg all the way back, lift up, knee. Now find your strength through your core to lift your arms up. Arms to the floor. Back leg straightens off the ball. Back knee goes to the ball, find the strength in your hip core and lift your arms, rely not just on your legs. Come down, last one. Straighten, bend, use your core strength to come all the way up with a nice big finish and release. Good. Put the other leg forward and pick up the ball. When I say use more than just the legs, you wanna feel the lifting come all the way up again in that powerhouse. Put the ball in your hands, put that right, uh, left leg back, right leg forward, and come down into a deep, nice static lunge. With that being the front leg, take the ball in your left hand under and up. Just start with the ball transferring across the chest and under the leg, so shifting the body weight. Not gonna lie, this is an advanced move. Modify it as you need to, and one more. Take it all the way up. Now go all the way down and all the way up. Feeling the shifting in the back leg. And again, as you bring it to your chest, turn to that right hip, the front hip, and bring it into the front hand. Bring it back to the middle and put it in the back hand as you twist the same way. Again, focus on the stability. Find the position of your legs before you move your arms and torso. So one more to the front hand. One more to the back one. Good. As you bring it to center, back leg comes in just a little. Put the ball down underneath it. Don't put your weight necessarily on the ball. Just kind of mark it and reach the arms up. Then put a little more pressure down and a little more up. This is where I say use everything to lift you. Not just the legs. here, go down, reach forward, taking the back knee off, knee down, arms up, reach forward, 
The knee comes up and off, leaves the ball where it is. Careful not to toss the ball or roll it. So again, you're just barely lifting, lengthening, and then coming up and barely touching it. Now rotate the body, opening to the hip. Come back up and reach forward. Up, knee down, rotation twist. Up and reach forward. And change on the next one, up and twist. But as you reach forward, take it all the way back with the arms to the side of the hips. All the way forward, knee down, rotate open. Again, up, all the way back to the hips. All the way forward, open. Things are gonna change. Lift up, all the way back to the hips, hold. See that front foot, put your hands down. Drop the back knee. Now lift your arms over your head using your whole core strength. Bring the arms back down. Take the back knee off, lengthen the leg. Knee down, engage your center, pull all the way up, you're going one more time. All the way down, knee off, stretch leg, knee down, and reach all the way up. Step forward with your back leg to release. Okay, good, standing section is over, going down to the mat now, onto our hands and knees. So as you lay out your mat, make sure you've got a little bit of space, forward, back, and a little bit side to side. Coming down with the ball, with the ball under your right hand. Place the left hand next to it with your head extended forward. Knees on the ground. Now there will be times I will actually tell you to push really hard into the ball, and other times just a constant push. For the very first thing, find your position on the neck, head, hands, and knees, and just push down and release. A little push from the shoulder chest. You might feel a little bit of tricep, but every time you push that ball, you should also feel something happening in your middle. On the next one, push down, hold, and lift your knee off on the left side. Open your knee out and in. When it opens, push down hard. When it comes down, release. Don't pick the ball up, just release the hand. Push and lift, and then release the hand. Open the knee, push and lift, and lower. Push and lift again, and lower. Now keep a constant push, remember the neck, and circle the knee up and around the side. Circle the knee up and around, keeping a constant push with the hand. Knee is forward, up and around, and one more. Now reverse the circle so it goes backwards, up and around the hip. And a constant push with the hand, just a constant push. Again, be careful on the head and neck, I'll remind you of that a lot. From here, knee is in, extend the leg back, and pull the knee in again. And as you do this, just keep that constant push with the ball. It's not too hard or too soft, it's just constant. And extend the back leg, and your head is still up. And on the next one, leave the leg behind you, hold. Lower the toe and release a little tension from the ball. Then pull the toe up, kicking, and push down hard with the ball. Lower the toe. Change the shape of the ball, push down hard with the hand. Lower, push down, lift, lower, push down, lift, hold, keep your head up and bring the knee in. As the leg kicks back, roll the ball forward. As it comes in, roll it in. It's going to be under your hand on the end. It's going to be most likely under your wrist on the out. You now start to add the nose, the torso, the head, and extend to lengthen. Because you're now just lightly rolling the ball, a lot of the work just went into your other hand and arm. Pull in. Now leave extension, head up, wrist on. Open that leg to the side and back. And again, because the light rolling of the ball with the just barely the wrist on has now put a lot more of the work into your left arm. And as you do this one more time, we're going to put these moves together. Roll the ball in with the knee coming in, lower the torso. Extend to lengthen and open sideways. We'll do this two more times. As you roll in, then extend and open sideways. Good. One more time. Pull in. Extend to lengthen, head up, and open the leg and come in to release the knees to the back. Sit back. 
A lot of times I'll change the direction, but because I've got two different things going on, arm and leg, I'll still, still face the same way, but now you can see the leg as you come up. And again, the best thing to do is to listen here, see, listen here, feel. As you bring the ball under the opposite hand, now left hand, other hand to side, knees on mat, head forward. Push down really hard with your hand against the ball. And then release it without picking the ball up. You just lighten it and then push down hard and release it. Push down hard and active and release and push down and hold. Now lift up your knee and as you open that knee to the side, push down hard and then release as it comes down. Push down hard, lift and release as it comes down. Push down, lift and then release it. Push down to lift and release. One more. Push down with the ball, lift, and then release the hand. Keep a constant push, head forward, and circle the knee and the hip up and around. Forward, up and around. Two more. And one more time. Now reverse it backwards and up and around. Back, up and around. And again. And one more time. Constant push with the hand. Head is still forward. Knee is at chest. Extend the leg back. And forward. Don't drop the head. Don't drop the nose. Don't move the torso. Keep a constant push of the hand. Knee in. Kick back. One more time. And keep the leg behind you. Release the ball a little. Lower the toe. Then push down hard and lift the foot up. Lower the toe. Release the ball. Push down with the ball and lift the foot. Lower, push and lift, and one more time, lower, push and lift. Bring the knee in, but as the leg kicks back, roll the ball forward under the wrist. Pull it into the hand, knee in, and under the wrist. Let's start to exaggerate the move by dropping the nose, the head, the torso, and then pushing back out. Pulling in, 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 and extending back out one more time. Nose, torso, and as you extend, the wrist stays on the ball out front, leg down. Open out your leg out, open out to the side. And as we keep very light pressure on the wrist, now your opposite arm is going to get a little more work as you shift your leg sideways. Keep your head lengthening the neck forward one more. Putting these two moves together, roll the ball in, knee in, extend out, lengthen, head up, and open to the side. Roll in, extend, head up, open leg to side. One more time, roll everything in, extend to lengthen, head up, and open that leg to the side, and back in to release the knee into the child's pose position, release down. Okay, we're gonna go to our back. I'm gonna angle my mat, I think, on a diagonal here, just so you can see the different arms and legs that are happening. A lot of very big details on this one, so pay attention to those as you bring yourself now down to your tummy. We're going to start with the ball out in front of you and your fingertips on the ball. Elbows down, legs close together, pushing the pelvis into the floor. Head is neutral, so not too high or too low, just neutral. Push down with both hands and engaging all the back muscles. Lift your elbows. Lower the elbows down. Push down with both hands and lift the elbows up. So our focus is on the back side of the body. Lower down and then push, lift. Adding a little change on the next push, lift. Roll the ball a little closer into you, keeping your elbows off, roll forward. Roll it towards you, keep your elbows off, push a little down underneath the hands and release forward. Roll again and push on the next one. Lift the toes and keep the toes elevated as you roll the ball forward and backwards. Roll, pull in. And now you've got some work going on in the back of your legs. This next move is called a seesaw. As the ball rolls forward, the knees bend into a hamstring curl. As the ball comes to you, you extend your legs, but don't touch the toes. Roll forward, bend the knees. Extend, pull in. Coordination as your knees bend 
and then they straighten, the toes are off. We're gonna go one leg at a time. Right knee only bends, but the other toe is off. Roll in and it straightens. Left knee hamstring curl, other toe is off. Roll forward with the ball, lots going on here. Pull and lengthen. One more hamstring on the right. And pull in. And hamstring on the left. And pull in. Now your toes are off. Pick the ball up and lift it. Four, three, two, one, release. Place the ball now underneath the right hand, but it's in a little wider position, almost a goalpost position, but a little more forward. So if I were to push down with both hands, one on the ball, one without, I'm gonna be in a wide position of my arms and the cobra. Focusing now on your left leg with the ball in the right hand. Wide position, cobra. Lift now your left leg up. As you lower that leg, push down with both hands, one against the ball, and lift into a wide cobra, seesaw. Left leg goes up as the body comes down. Push down and extend, lift up. Lower by lifting the leg. Push down with the hand and lift the chest. Lift the leg. Lower leg, lift, chest, hold. Now release to the other hand. Left hand has the ball. Nice wide position for the cobra. Start with your right leg up and the head and neck in neutral. Now that you're feeling that back side of the leg up, lower the leg, push down with the hands, lift the chest. Seesaw the leg up. Seesaw the torso up. Seesaw the leg. Now the torso. Leg. Push torso. One more time, leg. Push down, lift torso, hold. Good, from there, release. Reach back now and place the ball behind your right knee and then squeeze it. That back squeeze is gonna activate the hamstring muscles. It's like the bicep muscle, the belly of the back thigh, and that's all you're gonna do is keep that hamstring squeezing the ball, that's all. Go back into the wide position, uh, cobra. So elbows a little bit bent, hands wide. Activate the right leg bent, left leg stays down. Now push down into the hands and lift the cobra. Don't change anything with the leg, just release. Squeeze that ball, lift. I don't care if that foot is pointed or flexed, just wanna squeeze the back of the hamstring, lower the chest. Push down, lift the chest, squeeze hamstring, and release. And one more, push down with the hands, squeeze, and release. Now change the ball to the other leg. I don't know about you, but my hamstrings are so much weaker than my quadriceps. So as I squeeze that ball actively, I feel a little tremors going on in that hamstring. Hands wide, head neutral. Squeeze actively against the ball, whether your foot is flexed or pointed, doesn't matter to me. Push down with the hands, cobra up into a wide cobra, and release. You should feel an active squeeze constantly. Now lift, but when you lift that chest, really squeeze the back of the leg and come in. Two more. Squeeze the ball, lift. Release the chest. One more. Push down, squeeze, and lower. Now take the ball between both legs. They're gonna be in the lower leg, so somewhere by the calf muscle, but between both legs. Now reach forward with both hands and extend the legs straight out. Going now with the hands and the legs into a Superman, lift both hands and feet. The ball might touch when you come down, but the toes really shouldn't come down. Extend to lift up and lower down. Squeeze the ball, lift, lower down one more time. Squeeze the ball, lift, and lower the ball down. Now bring your hands under your forehead and listen carefully as your legs are extended. From here, lift your toes a little bit so that the ball is now off the ground. From here, bending both knees into a hamstring curl, squeeze. But when you lengthen the legs, keep your toes extended off the ground, squeeze. Head down so you don't strain the upper back. And then extend the legs straight. Bend both legs into the hamstring curl and then straight. One more time, bend 
and straighten. This next one's gonna keep the legs bent, bending both knees so the toes are up, hamstring curl. Focus on the thighs, and this won't be very big, but lift the thighs a little higher and a little lower. This is deep in your low back, higher and lower. Keep your head down, lift the thighs, squeeze the glutes and lower. One more, lift the thighs, squeeze the glutes and lower. Now marching one foot higher than the other it will almost feel like you're gonna roll over. So as you lift your right foot higher in your right thigh, it will feel almost like it's trying to cross. Keep your head down and lower the thigh. Left thigh up, left toe higher. It's gonna work that side of the back. Keep your head down, right toe higher, right thigh up. And it just kind of rolls the ball. One more, left foot, left thigh, and lower it back down. Take the ball from your legs, bring it to your hands, slide the knees back underneath you, and stretch out your back. As you transition now to your side, I'm gonna straighten my mat a little bit more so you can see me. And I don't care which side you start with, just come down onto your hip and bring that ball into your front or top hand on the floor in front of you. Bottom hand is down and the head is resting on it. Hand on front, engage your belly button and it will feel like you're sucking into your back. It will almost feel like you're tucking your pelvis. You won't be able to tuck under, but if you cinch everything else up in between, you're gonna feel nice and tight in your center. Now push down with that bottom hip and the bottom leg and stack your pelvis on top of each other and your legs. Start with the top leg and an active push down with the ball and lift the leg. Don't rush this, feel the push, feel the pull, and then release. Push down hard with the ball, lift up with the leg, and release. Push down again. So I don't wanna do a whole bunch fast. I wanna feel where I'm feeling it. So when I push down, feel shoulder, chest, bicep, leg, hip, waistline, and do one more. Push down, lift. Okay, a little change. Pick the ball up and put it over your head. Now stack up your legs and your pelvis because now you don't have anything in front preventing you from rolling back or forward. Push down with the bottom leg and lift the top. Lower down. Push down and lift. Find that space under the ear to the shoulder, but still reach the arm over your head and find your balance on your hip on one leg. Now on the next one, start to bring the ball up towards the leg and lift the leg high enough that they make contact and then back over. Don't rush the down. Don't lower until you feel the ball actually touch the leg and come down. So lift that leg high enough to get the ball to touch it and lower down and really perfect balance. So try not to roll backwards. That's usually the temptation. Let's go one more time here and lift and lower. Now keep the leg down, but bring the ball to the side of your thigh. Get right on your hip, belly button in, push down with the bottom leg. And as you lift your top leg, roll the ball closer to your knee and then down. Now don't be satisfied with each one. So you can go a little bit higher with your leg and a little bit lower to the knee on the ball. Again, go a little higher. Now start to add the head and the torso with the same move. You're gonna push down with the bottom arm and lift your head and your torso. Two more times, get that leg up, roll the ball, head, torso, and that puts a lot more work into the waistline. One more. And lower down. Bring your knees in and roll yourself over to the other side. Positioning is more important than movement. The stability happens before the motion as you bring your hand above your head, front hand in front. Activate the belly button to the spine. Feel like everything just tucked in and pushed forward and you're already just really feeling that bottom leg and bottom hip anchoring you down. Push down hard with the ball as you lift your top leg up and then release the hand to come down. The temptation is to roll backwards. And especially when we take the ball over our head you wanna feel like you're really engaging the bottom leg. You can feel the thigh of your bottom leg. Now remember, don't forget the ball. Push down hard, activate the arm, bicep, shoulder, chest, and one more. Push, lift, and release. Now pick up the ball and put it over your head and find your balance. 
pulling the pelvis forward and in, push the bottom leg down, and just start with your top leg moving only. Again, the temptation is to roll backwards. So go through the learning curve. Where do you need to adapt the body so you don't roll backwards? Keep reaching and stretching the arm. Activate the bottom leg, lift the top one. Now lift it high enough as you bring the ball towards the leg to touch. And don't rush to go down. Make the contact point with the ball to the leg, hold, and then release it back down. Pull and lift. And release it. One more time, pull and lift. And release. Now bring the ball to the side of your leg. Starting with the leg only, roll the ball towards the knee as it lifts and lower down. See if you go a little higher on this one. Lift and roll. Find the anchor point of your bottom leg, your hip, your pelvis. Be in control of everything, not just the leg that's lifting, but everything that's holding to the floor. Now start to add the head, the torso, as you push with the bottom arm to lift, and that immediately should put you a little bit more into the waistline, and pull down, and again, roll lift. You're going one more time. Push down, roll lift, and release. Bending your knees, sit yourself up to a seated position. Come to seated, bringing your legs in front, and place the ball now right down low by your tailbone. So if it's really tough, you don't want to sit on it. You just want to bring it low by the tailbone. When I lean back, I'm going to be pretty high. If you're focused on the ceiling, your ball's too low. So put the ball right underneath your tailbone, lift up nice and tall, bring your hands to your heart. Knees are bent, feet to floor. And I love this because once the ball goes back there, it releases those hip flexors, which typically tend to grip when you're in a C-curve position. Notice the loose hip flexors. Now bring the hands to the heart and pull back. See, it's more abdominal wall. It's going to get deep in abdominal wall. It's less hip flexor. And then come up. Push yourself back. And because the ball is there, you'll feel that you can really go far. Now be very careful on your neck. Your chin should stay over your sternum. It shouldn't release back. It should stay over your sternum and come up. One more time. Now as you pull back, find a position you can hold really deep and into the abdominal wall. Relax the hip flexors and take your thumbs to the right shoulder. That's all. Feel that. And then the left one. Nothing else moves, but it feels almost like you're rotating from one shoulder to the other, thumbs to shoulder, thumbs to shoulder. Now bring the hands to the right shoulder. Reach out to the right, over your legs to come up. Don't cut off the left side as you pull in. Right shoulder, reach right. Up over your legs, lift the torso to the left side. Bring it in and back. Again, do not release your head back. You're making a big circle. And you don't want to cut off the left side right there before you come in. Let's go one more time this direction, up and around, and now reverse it. Go left, up, and around and in. All the way up and around. Don't cut off the right side. Feel the torso moving up, sideways, back, and again, aware of the head. Last one right here, bring it in and hold. Now reposition. Chin forward, twist to your right with the right hand up, left arm across, and then come back to the middle. Twist to the left, and the upper hand is on the outside. Relax your hip flexors, they should be all ready. Chin forward, reach, pull into the heart center, left side up, center, one more on the right side, arm up, center, and one more on the left side. And come back to center, bring your hands to legs, pull yourself up. Place the ball in your hands now. This next exercise is a little more right, lane, left, right and left brain combination, which is always good to stimulate the brain. As you relax your hip flexors, you will feel them a lot more because the ball is going to be in your hands, so be very aware. Place the ball in your hands with the right hand on top, left hand underneath, but the hands are both facing down. As you pull back and engage your C-curve, relax your hip flexors and roll the ball as you focus on it. Now, that's where you just stimulated your brain, your coordination. 
As you're rolling the ball, keep your eyes on it, lower deeper into your C curve, and then higher. And because the hands are doing something different on each side, you're gonna feel the abdominals a little differently on the right side versus the left. One more, lower, and lift. Now change so that your left hand is on top and your right hand is on the bottom. As you pull back, start to stimulate the rolling of the ball. As you're dominating now with your left hand, it will feel different on the left side, and roll backwards and sit up higher. Pull back, keep your focus and concentration on the ball, and roll back and up. And one more time, roll back and up. Good. Now take the ball into the middle of your back, and I'm going to turn sideways so you can see this one a little bit better. You're not at the tailbone, you're in the middle of your spine. So when you pull back, you're gonna be focused up on the ceiling. Bend your knees to help you support until you get down there. Once you have the middle back on, you might need to lift your hips up a little to reposition. Again, very important that you don't drop the head back. In fact, if you do, you're gonna feel an opening of your ribs and belly. If you close up, you're gonna feel the contraction. In fact, try that. Take the arms open and very carefully release your head. Feel how your ribs pop up. Now close your ribs, lift in and up. Do that again. And then close your ribs, up, chin, forward. But one more time. See, so much more contraction happens when your head is forward. Okay, now with your arms up, reaching up, chin down. You need to be able to pick your feet up. So if you're not in the right place, you may need to change it. Lift one foot and then the other. So we're kind of in that dead bug position. First thing, only thing we're gonna do, open the arms, make sure you keep your head forward. Open, close. When you close your arms, lift a little bit through the shoulders. Contract a little deeper into the belly button right there. Good. Now on the next open, Leave the arms open, keep your chin forward, and drop your toes and lift. Reach your arms up when the toes go down. Open the arms when the toes go up. Keep your chin forward, lift, and open the arms, toes up. One more. Open the arms, keep the chin forward, keep your toes up, and now just drop one toe. And then the other, keep your arms open, chin forward. Feel that deep contraction in the abdominal wall. Now the legs start to flutter. Chin forward. Kicking now the legs up to the ceiling, reach up, lift. Very carefully open the arms and bend your knees, keep your chin forward. Reach up, lift up. Bend the knees, open the arms. Reach up, lift up. Open. You're going one more time. Big lift. And as you open, bring your hands to your legs and sit yourself up. Take the ball from your back, lower yourself all the way down, and we're going to go into our series of fives. I'm going to do quite a few variations today on the series of five. So we'll start with the first one, we'll go in order, but I will do a few on each one. As we start with the double leg stretch, bring the knees to the chest. Ball in your hands over the legs, lift the chest, and again, you want to bring your head forward. Take the ball in your right hand as you extend both legs, circle the ball around to the top of your head, and then bring it to the left hand as your knees tuck in. Again, it's not about going fast or rushing, it's a leg that needs to strengthen. The move is called the double leg stretch. One more this direction, look up and then look forward. Now keep it in your left hand and just circle the other direction. Pull it back around. Around the outside of the left. Come down with the right. Focus on your head and neck and every detail as you lengthen your feet. And one more time, up and around. And as you bring it in, release the head and shoulders down. Place the ball now into your lower leg with the knees at the chest. Bring the hands for this one behind your head to support and lift the shoulders. Now again, we can lift the head and feel nothing, but we can open those elbows and lift the chest and feel something. 
From here, bring your elbows towards your knees. Careful not to pull on your neck. Extend your legs forward to stretch and open your elbows to look up. Again, double leg stretch. But as the ball is now in your legs, squeeze the legs of the ball. Tuck in, careful not to just pull on the head. And as you lift the shoulders to tuck in, last one, open it up and then bring the ball in to release the head and shoulders down. Single leg stretch. We're gonna start this one with the ball in the hands reaching up to the ceiling. One knee at the chest, doesn't matter to me which one, the other leg extended. Then lift the shoulders high enough to really feel the abdominal. So then I can be here, or I can be here and feel a whole cinching up of a belt, chin forward. As you switch legs, just open the ball to one hand, and then close it, bringing it to the other one. Now again, it's all about lifting the shoulders, not about moving the legs or the ball. It's about the shoulders. So chin down, shoulders up, feel the tightness of the abdominal wall one more time, that nice belly bracing. As you release the knees into the chest, let your head come down. Place the ball underneath the right knee. Hands go behind your head. Left leg extends forward as your shoulders come up, brace deep. So again, you could be here or you could be there and make all the difference. Now I'm gonna go knee to knee, single leg stretch. However, the right knee has a ball, so it has to go toe down. So left knee comes in, toe down, and then switches. Once you get the coordination of your legs, get the chest and shoulders up. Keep your elbows nice and wide. Lift the shoulders one more time. And release down. Take the ball under the left knee. Hands behind head, lift shoulders. Right leg extends. As the right knee comes in, left toe goes down, or whichever leg you have. Once you get the coordination, get the shoulders up. Don't crowd the face. Lift the shoulders, elbows wide. One more time. And release down. Put the ball in your hands. Now it's the single straight leg stretch. With the ball in your hands, extend your right leg high and your left leg low. Now lift your chest and shoulders and put the ball in the same hand as the leg that's up, right to right. As you lift the shoulders, it transfers behind the leg on the outside and then scissors. Transfer under and scissor. Transfer under. When you transfer, lift up. Open a little and lift up. Chin forward, one more, and release. Similar to one we've already done, single straight leg stretch, ball goes under the right knee. Hands go behind head, left leg forward. Left leg kicks up and down, while the right toe goes down and up. Kick the leg toe down, kick the leg toe up. Now, once you get the coordination of the straight leg and the bent leg, get the shoulders up. Cinch up the belt leg. Last one here, bring it in to change legs. Left side, squeeze ball. Hands behind head, shoulders up. Right leg straight. Right leg kicks as the toe goes down and up on the left leg. Once you've got the coordination, cinch up your belt. Get the torso up, toe down, toe up. Last one, kick and lower. Bring the ball to your hands, release the head. Fourth move, double straight leg stretch. Legs go high, ball comes behind them, which pulls your torso up, chin down. Take the ball in your right hand. All the legs are gonna do is lower and lift. Make sure you don't pop out your ribs. As they lower and lift, right hand transfers the ball over your head, comes back up, pull in. Over your head and pull up. You can open the body here a little bit. As you transfer the ball, pull it under the legs, lower and lift your legs. Now keep it in your left hand to go the other way. Open it, pull. Open, pull. Circle, pull, last one. Circle and pull. Knees to chest, release. Shake your head side to side. You've made it to the last exercise. Fifth of the series of five, the crisscross. We're gonna start with the ball of the hands. Right knee at chest, left leg extended, head up, 
Shoulders up, chin down. Cross that opposite elbow to the knee. As you do so, turn and look to the side and then switch. Turn and look to the side. Turn and look to the side. As you continue to cross the elbow to the leg, start your leg, lengthen and scissor. Lengthen and scissor. Notice the leg that's going up. And this time when we transfer the ball under it, it comes from the inside. So if the right leg's up, the left hand transfers. Then the left leg up, right hand transfers. And then transfer. So by going from the inside of the leg, it adds rotation to the torso. Rotate, last one right here. Rotate and release. Take the ball in your hands above your head, lengthen your body, you made it through. Again, a little more advanced class. I always feel like the more you do it, the harder it gets, the more you discover, the more you learn. So don't be afraid to do these classes over and over again. I say that every time. As you bring your knees to your chest, pull the knees to the right side. As you open your arms, put the ball in your left hand. Feel the stretch. There are now 150 classes on the YouTube channel. All different kinds, all different types, all different equipment. There are 12, now 13 small ball classes. I don't even think I do all those in one year. I do a whole class for a whole week, and then I change to a new class for a whole week. I typically use equipment one week, and then no equipment another week, up and over to the other side. I have so much different exercises with different, or classes with different equipment. Foam rollers, magic circles, PVC pipes, small weights, yoga block, small ball, big ball. I even use a heavy weight, and at the gym I even use a big barbell on a couple of my classes. Gliding disc. So find the variety. Test the class out for a few times. Do it again and again. See if you can get something new out of it. As you bring the legs up, rock yourself up to a seated position. Open into straddle and roll the ball forward. Let your head drop. As you roll up, take the ball in one of your hands and go into a side stretch. If you don't have equipment that I use for some of the other classes, you can use a small ball for the magic circle class. Open up that arm and lift it. If you don't have weights, grab something like cans of superfood or laundry detergent. Reach across now. And then lift your body and take the ball to the other side. All of these pieces of equipment are not very expensive. You can get them on Amazon, anywhere. And so if you're really trying to add Pilates to your daily or weekly regimen, maybe we're picking up a couple of these pieces of equipment. Open the arm, lift up, look up. And then reach across. Again, all the classes are organized by playlists. So if you're looking for a specific kind, go to playlists on the content and they're all organized that way. Bring the ball behind your back and bring your legs a little closer together and then just push down, lengthening your arms, opening your chest and shoulders. Take one leg across and with the opposite arm, pull it across with the ball in it as you twist and rotate. Switch sides, leg crosses over, ball comes around the outside of the knee as you rotate. Now bring the ball just to the floor with your feet on the floor. Start with your feet, stretch the heels up. You did a whole bunch of standing work today. Then push the ball down and lift your hips. Bend your knees and just roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time. 
Place the ball in one hand and reach up. Slide the other hand down and look up. And then turn your head down towards your shoulder. Take the other hand with the ball up, reach up, and slide the other hand down as you turn and look up. Bring the ball into both hands. Deep breath in, reach up. Exhale, come down. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, come down. Thank you for joining me for class number 150. Check out all the others online. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns or comments. Love to hear from you. Thanks for joining me today and thanks for all your love and support.